Senator Hirono. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Hydrogen is a new fuel for most of the public, so um, I, I know that there are various jurisdictional issues that come up and uh, uh, questions as to how can Congress make sure that uh, we have appropriate safety standards in place as we go forward. So I thank the chairman for having this hearing. I have a couple of uh, questions that were suggested by people in Hawaii because we uh, do have uh, a desire to go forward with uh, some level of hydrogen use. For Mr. Uh, Marsh, you describe your company's efforts to produce zero, zero emission hydrogen using renewable power. What strategies do you think Congress should follow to support or accelerate the transition to hydrogen, and where would you want to see clear federal rules in place to allow companies, state, and communities to decide if or how they want to proceed on hydrogen as a clean energy source? Well, thank you, Senator. Uh, you know, we're building out a clean, green hydrogen network across the United States using hydropower, uh, using wind power using solar power uh, to create green hydrogen. You know, when I think about uh, uh, where the federal government can help, it really, you know, I'm a businessman, and the production tax credit for both blue, green and blue hydrogen would be incredibly beneficial to accelerate this economy, to create jobs, to provide independence. That, to me, mm -hmm. will make the biggest difference and we'll be able to lever leverage what's best about, quite honestly, our economy, to be able to let companies like Plug raise money on Wall Street based on you know, the certainty of the laws for the long term. Uh, just to give you a feel, during COVID, we were able to raise $5 billion. And that uh, Congress, can, with tax legislation, can do so much to accelerate this more than everything else. There are experts on this panel that understand permitting and policy mm -hmm. much better than I do when it comes to regulations. I can just tell you that what we have found that on most commercial properties, uh, building hydrogen stations, and we've built it 185 times, really has not been that big of an issue. I can build a hydrogen station in 13 weeks. This is a commercial business to business today. Uh, the regulations associated with pipelines uh, three felt people on this panel mm -hmm. with me are much better suited to answer those questions. Thank you. I, I agree with you. I, I am a uh, supporter of tax credits to um, to really move us forward and up, uh, to support various policy uh, uh, considerations. And uh, and I think especially in the area of uh, promoting clean energy and resort to clean energy, I think. Uh, uh, Tax credits make a big difference, including, by the way, uh, tax credits for nonprofits who are also in this space. Again, for you, Mr. Marsh, uh, you testified about the potential hydrogen could play in reducing carbon emissions in critical industries, mar maritime shipping, and trucking. How many years and billions of dollars would it take to build or upgrade pipelines to accommodate hydrogen on the scale that you described that would have an impact on the uh, kinds of activities that we uh, that I just described? And do you feel that the federal government has an appropriate long-term strategy on hydrogen? I think that the work that's been done by this committee on hydrogen hubs is a very good starting point. I'm a true believer that uh, a good deal of the hub money should be get dedicated to building out hydrogen pipelines to accelerate a wide variety of applications. You know, if I look at, for example, uh, you know, in Europe we have a JV with Renault to put on-road vehicles. Uh, that uh, there, you know, we are working on pipelines and looking to put stations by the pipelines. That's really kind of the driver. As far as the federal policy goes, I guess, quite honestly, Senator, I'm a believer that a general high-level policy is great, but uh, I believe policies that allow all technologies to compete equally, mm. considering the true costs of society, are the best solutions for the government to put, put in place, and allow us businesses to compete to show that uh, we have the right solutions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, 